Now, when it comes to choosing the right dog breed for you, you have to take into consideration the temperament of the dog. Now, the Labrador Retriever is one of the most popular breeds in the world because of their temperament. So in today's video, let's look in detail at what the Labrador's temperament actually is so we can better decide whether they may be the perfect breed for you or not. To put it into one sentence, in terms of its temperament, the Labrador Retriever is a passionate and sweet family companion who would do anything for its people and can keep up with the best of them on the field. But we can do better than one sentence and there is a systematic way of us doing that. We're going to break it down into categories. I'd like to address the lab's temperament in its three main circumstances, with its family, with its work and with strangers. So first up, let's talk about the Labrador at home with its people. Because their stamina on the field is quite literally world class, it's quite hard to imagine that these working dogs, whose very name literally translates into labourer, could be settled and peaceful in the home without constant stimulation. Whilst it's true that working lines in particular need a lot of enrichment and work to do, it is also true that Labradors in the home, whose needs have been met, are typically mellow, quiet and contented members of the family. They are totally dedicated to their people, joining them on epic journeys from the sofa to the fridge and back again, never doubting either the importance or the excitement of that small voyage. They will invariably engage in play if solicited by their people or other dogs, though with such an athletic breed it is better suited to the great outdoors. They are docile, balanced and intuitive to their owners' needs and behaviours, knowing for certain whether their elder human has risen to fetch something from the car or to take them to the park for a game of frisbee, and also seemingly to know whether their youngest family member is happy enough for some tug or sad enough for a cuddle on the floor. Indeed, Labradors who are well socialised are truly excellent with children, and whilst no dog should ever be left unsupervised with a child, they have gained for themselves a stellar reputation with children the world over. Now next up, let's think about the working temperament of the Labrador. There is an inevitable split here between working and showbred Labradors, but it's only about the intensity. The traits are the same, the working lab will exhibit them just more and for longer. So when a Labrador is at work, you can tell it from his face. An engaged retriever is fixated on its target, his brows furrowed and his stare relentless, his whole body poised for action. This work might simply be a game with its family that appeals to the Labrador's working instinct, like fetch or catch or swimming, or genuine work work, which is out in the fields with gun-touting country folk using the iconic soft mouth Labrador to retrieve birds. The Labrador doesn't know what we consider work and adopts the serious approach to any and every task that its owner asks of it. Typically, retrievers are highly motivated, particularly by food, famously but also by approval from their handlers, making training and work an absolute breeze for anybody collaborating with this spirited and highly intelligent jack-of-all-trades. Because of the purposeful breeding in their history, their eyes are very sensitive to movement and they are also thoroughly resistant to sound. So whilst most dogs will miss a small bird falling from the sky 200 metres away and flee from the sound of a gun shot that preceded it, a Labrador is unfazed by the noise and precise in his retrieval. In sum, besides the skill, the Labrador is highly cooperative and infused by work. Now finally we can address the Labrador's temperament when confronted with the unfamiliar. Labradors are one of the most highly sociable dog breeds in existence today and as such they tend to be thoroughly welcoming of canine strangers, greeting them with play bows and excitable noises. Working lines and under-stimulated Labradors do have a tendency to be somewhat more skittish with strange dogs and as always careful introductions are best practice but on the whole they are playful and happy to interact with other dogs dogs, provided their good nature is not abused. When it comes to unfamiliar humans then, they are almost ex excessively accommodating, greeting all visitors with open arms and entirely open dispositions, whether this person be friend or foe. Indeed, the Labrador is so poorly suited to guardianship and scrutinising unfam unfamiliar people's intentions that it is not unfamiliar to find them nuzzling the legs of burglars in the home or jumping into the back of a van to be stolen by a dog napper. Their friendliness is rarely a weakness, however, and tends instead to endear people towards the lovely labs. They are also highly adaptable 
flexible and even tempered, meaning that socialization is a relatively cut and dried process of gentle and reinforced exposure to novel stimuli. Given that outside of fear periods, they are unlikely to be cowed by many unfamiliar experiences, instead accepting them into their stride readily, as if born to work in this wild world. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more about one of my favorite breeds in the world, the Labrador Retriever, make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's exactly what it's designed to do and I can't wait to see you on the next episode.